cruelty and love. What large dark hands are those at the window lifted, grasping the golden light which weaves its way through the creeper leaves to my heart's delight? Ah, only the leaves, but in the west, in the west I see a redness come over the evening's burning breast. Tis the wound of love goes home. The woodbine creeps abroad, calling low to her lover, the sunlit flirt who all the day has poised above her lips in play and stolen kisses, shallow and gay, of pollen, now has gone away. She woos the moth with her sweet, low word, and when above her his broad wings hover, then her bright breast she will uncover, and yield her honey drop to her lover. Into the yellow evening glow saunters a man from the farm below, leans and looks in at the low-built shed where hangs the swallow's marriage bed. The bird lies warm against the wall. She glances quick her startled eyes towards him, then she turns away her small head making warm display of red upon the throat. His terrors sway her out of the nest's warm, busy ball, whose plaintive cry is heard as she flies in one blue stoop from out the styes into the evening's empty hall. Oh, water hen, beside the rushes, hide your quaint unfading blushes, Still your quick tail, and lie as dead, Till the distance folds over his ominous tread. The rabbit presses back her ears, Turns back her liquid anguished eyes, And crouches low, then with wild spring spurts From the terror of his oncoming, To be choked back, the wire ring, Her frantic effort throttling, Piteous brown ball of quivering fears. Ah, soon in his large, hard hands she dies, and swings all loose to the swing of his walk. Yet calm and kindly are his eyes, and ready to open in brown surprise, should I not answer to his talk, or should he my tears surmise? I hear his hand on the latch, and rise from my chair, watching the door open, he flashes bare his strong teeth in a smile, and flashes his eyes in a smile like triumph upon me. Then careless wise he flings the rabbit soft on the table board, and comes towards me. Ah, the uplifted sword of his hand against my bosom, and oh, the broad blade of his hand that raises my face to applaud his coming. He raises up my face to him, and caresses my mouth with his fingers, which still smell grim of the rabbit's fur. God, I am caught in a snare. I know not what fine wire is round my throat. I only know I let him finger there my pulse of life, letting him nose like a stoat who sniffs with joy before he drinks the blood and down his mouth comes to my mouth, and down his dark bright eyes descend like a fiery hood upon my mind. His mouth meets mine, and a flood of sweet fire sweeps across me. So I drown within him, die, and find death good. <laughs>